This is part one of how to do the trim on the Stone Point and Jones silhouette. And when I'm referring to, um, for one, if you're looking at this before you crocheted anything, um, uh, you're going to need to make sure that this width matches loosely on your body and before you start the armhole and then do the armhole. So that's just a quick, um, a quick one. And then after doing the armhole, you're going to want to keep adding on down at the bottom until this is about at your knee. And you see this one straight across. It's just because I didn't go. However, the, the longer you make it, and depending on your size, will make it curve on the bottom or straight across. It's not a different top. This one is just for, per, for instruction purposes. Now the red right here is the front closure seam. This is what I'm referring to. This uh, where you this beginning chain on each side. Um, and then you single crochet back up the chain. That's your front, front closure seam. And I just um, did a quick start. So I attach my yarn on either side, whether you're left-handed or right-handed. You're going to need two hooks. You're going to do the first row with your 10 hook, and the second row will be the second row will be with the five hook. So, and on the second row, we'll be putting um, two stitches in in one with a five hook. So obviously 10, we're going half the size, so it'll be two stitches in, in each. So first row, we're going to continue to use our 10 hook, and we're going to start at either one of these, whether you're right or left handed, we're going to crochet, a single crochet up, and then in each one of these, um, these are rows, um, cluster rows, and there'll be a double crochet here. We're going to put three stitches in each double crochet post and go around the whole whole post it looks better okay so we're going to start on one of these sides we're going to go all the way up here this is the front closure seam this is a front neckline this is over over the shoulder um let me get the center a little bit better for you this is over the shoulder we're going to continue and we're going to do um three uh, there's a the second one will show you where to put each stitch we're going to put one stitch right in this join and we're going to go around this whole part here. We're going to go around this whole join. We're going to go back up this side, up here, this is one continuous row, down this side. Woo! Something always happens when I do this. Um, and we're going to go down this side, down the front closure seam. Then we're going to change to the five hook. We're going to change to the five hook. We're going to chain one. And then we're going to start our loops. And we're going to go back up here for the second row. So we're going to put loops here. They're going to be buttonholes or loops. They're the same thing. Along here, we're going to show, I'm going to show you how to put the beads. We're going to, as we go over the shoulder, we're going to do more loops all the way down because it's also a good trim with the five hook. We're going to go all the way down making loops, which is also the trim or loops. You don't have to use them all. And back up this side over the shoulder. And then when we come down, this shoulder is still one continuous thing. When we come down, we're going to match the same amount of the stone point um, stitch with the beads on it. We're going to put beads here. And then if you're going to if you're going to um, lace up the front, we're going to do loops along here. If you're going to use buttons, you have the loops, which are also buttonholes that you already put on this side. We're going to do just a half double crochets, two half double crochets in each of these stitches with the five hook. Um, and this is where we'll sew our buttons on. Whoa, I'm sorry. Let me go over that again and get this in, in frame. I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm not very good at this. We're going to come down with the five hook, with the five hook making, making, um, matching the stone point um, beads on this side you don't have to put the beads you can just leave you can just leave this trim and not put the beads on if you if you don't like the beads but I'm there's instructions in part two on how to do the beads in detail I promise you'll be able to do them if you want to and if not you know you can leave it simple and just put the crochet back down here 
when you get here, um, so now that you can see it, with the five hook, in each stitch that was made by the ten hook, you're going to put two half double crochets in each stitch if you're going to be doing buttons and this is where you'll be sewing on buttons and you will have loops on the other side for buttonholes. So loops and buttonholes are the same thing and they're also trimmed. So loops, buttonholes, trim, all the same thing. Um, so that's that's how you get started on that. Please look at, please watch part two before you begin and you'll know what direction we'll go, we're going in. Thanks, enjoy.